Ladies and gentlemen, Eternal MMA 87. I'm here with Alex Wimwood, professional boxer, fighting for a world title at HBF Stadium. Mate, uh, I mean, are you just scouting the venue? Yeah, you know, I'm just pretty much visualising what I'm about to walk into in three weeks' time for my WBA world title shot. Now, mate, we were both practising your opponent's name uh, off camera. I'm yep. not going to pretend to be some boxing savant. I'm an MMA idiot. I can't imagine what I'd be in boxing. Uh, the man you are fighting is... Tamamoon Neomdrom is how you pronounce it. Uh, knockout CP Freshmart is his boxing name. Now, mate, it's pretty incredible. I mean, everyone's really high on you, and you, you're doing this sort of weird start to boxing. This is what I do know. Normally, guys are 20 and 0. They fight some cans along the way, yep. then fight for a world title. You're basically like straight out. I mean, you had your time in the Olympics, but what are you, 4 and 0 already fighting for a title? Yep, that's exactly right. I'm 27 years old. I don't want to go for the next five years trying to just chase uh, some tomato cans and I don't mean disrespect by that to anyone that gets in the boxing ring but um, I know my level of competition and I've said it from the very get go that I need to be up the top and we need to face the best and that's what we've been doing. Now I wouldn't be me, I mean I don't know the boxing world at all but I wouldn't be doing my job which I love to do. Uh, is there anyone out there that does fight tomato cans that you don't like? Not really, you know, I, I'm, there's no one that I really have it any bad ill feelings about in boxing essentially uh, unless they're in my division <laughs> but other than that which there's none in Australia so I love all my countrymen and uh, yeah I just support one another I mean you speak countrymen as well like I was uh, I spent some time in Bunbury as well you from Bunbury yep. I mean talk about what it's like to take your community your people with you to the top you know, it's just an absolute honour to be able to go through something that I find is just my passion in boxing and then represent not just the local community, a wider community, Perth, WA, Australia on world's biggest stage and fighting for a world title. Bringing all these people along the journey is what it's all about and it gives me that extra bit of drive. What's it like to have a legend in Danny Green in your corner? Oh, it's unreal. You know, this is a guy that when I was eight years old, I was watching him on TV and for him to become my close mate and a real close mentor who's actually helped me so much has been unreal. Uh, something I couldn't have dreamed of, so I'm glad that the, this has happened. Yeah, I mean, I think I remember watching Danny Green in this very arena. I mean, he's probably going to have some memories coming back here as well. Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, he's been spilling a couple of yarns back in the day and as we've been getting ready for this fight, as he's uh, involved in all the um, pr promotion of this, uh, he's, it's making him come alive and, and kind of having his second fire at, in boxing really in a, in a different aspect. And what, what's your thought on, on mixed martial arts? Of course we're here at Eternal MMA 87, you've seen some of the guys compete, what's it like? Mate, they've got all my respect, I would not like to take a knee kick or a boot to the head, so these guys are tough as nails and um, you know, I love combat sports so to watch this quite live is fucking unreal. And prediction for the fight? I don't think it goes 12 rounds. I, I haven't been there yet, and I'm not planning to go right now. So uh, my opponent, he's got a short night ahead of him and uh, a quick flight back home. Alex Wimwood, thank you so much for taking the time and, and welcoming me into your world. No, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me to you and all the MMA fans. Thanks, fella.